Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Jimmy Dean breakfast burritos. This one is the sausage. It has egg, sausage, and cheese. There are four burritos in the box. Uh, let's see, it is 17 ounces or 1.06 pounds or 481 grams, but that's for all uh, four of them. So, you know, that's what it is. We bought this at Kroger. It was $4.99, which isn't bad for uh, four burritos. It's, it's pretty heavy, actually. And let's see, calorie information. Let me turn this up. Hopefully you can see that it's, it looks fine to me. Um, one burrito is 330 calories, and here's the other info for you. You do what you want to with it, but there it is. So let's see, what do you do with these things? So we're gonna re turn that down. We're gonna remove the wrapper and wrap, wrap burrito in a paper towel. We're gonna heat in the microwave for 75 to 85 seconds. I'll just probably do 80 seconds. Uh, or until hot, let's stand for one minute and then enjoy. Always follow the heating directions, blah, blah, blah. So remove from baggage wrap in a paper towel. It doesn't say a wet paper towel, just a paper towel. Make sure I'm opening it the right end. Looks like your standard burrito. So I'm gonna get this open, put it in a paper towel, and uh, get it in the microwave. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. You can see I haven't even unwrapped it yet. I'm stuck with the paper towel a little bit. Honestly, if I had my choice about it, it said paper towel, but I would probably put it in a piece of parchment paper because it won't stick on parchment paper and it still holds the moisture in, so it's the same difference. So let me see what it's gonna look like. Seems pretty good and soft and tender, which is a good thing. That's what the inside looks like. Tons of cheese in there, that's for sure. But even the ends feel pretty decently um, soft. So what I usually do for the video, I normally wouldn't do this if I'm just eating it on my own. But what I do for the video is I usually cut it into four sections and then I cut each section into two. So it makes it a little easier to um, do on video. It makes it look awful, but um, it makes it a little easier to eat on video. So that's what I do. So I'm gonna continue to cut this up and I'll be back. All right, I let it cool off for just like literally no time at all. So here we go. I like the flavor of them, but I'm actually surprised at how um, like eggy they are. They're very strong egg flavor. So it almost has a almost has a, a creaminess to it. I've had the um, it's not crack an egg. It's the other one. I can't remember the name of it. Right off the top of my head, but anyway, the one that already comes with the eggs. Um, that one kind of reminds me of this. The flavor. It's very eggy. Um, very creamy um, texture. It's pretty good. The sausage doesn't really stand out very strong. I'm not saying you don't taste the sausage at all, but it's not a heavily spiced sausage. Let me just try some. Yeah, it's not a heavily spiced sausage, even that with that sausage with a little bit of egg on there, it was still a really strong egg flavor. So I think these are good. I really do like the flavor, but you have to like a really strong egg flavor, like a creamy scrambled egg flavor. Um, almost like, it's almost like egg beaters or something like that. That's how strong the egg flavor is. And they may, I mean, I don't know what they're using in there, but that's the flavor it has. It's a really, really strong egg flavor. Um, but it's not off-putting, it's not like, eggy you like rotten egg it's just eggy um i like it i would give these you know truth be told i like it um enough to give it a three and a half the reason i wouldn't give it more of a four four and a half is the sausage really doesn't have a lot of flavor the sausage really kind of falls flat in this meal truth be told um, there's not a lot of spices or seasoning in the um, sausage to even make you aware that you're even eating sausage honestly so um i'm gonna give it a three and a half because i do like that egg flavor it's a little bit above average the, the tortilla itself is really good and tender, so I like that. Um, you know, the ingredients are really good, but if the sauce had been stronger, it would have been higher. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.